It was October 9th, 2019, the day I nearly died of terror. I will never forget that day, ever. And you're about to understand exactly why in the next five minutes. Hello, my name is Patricia Calix, also known as Patty Pass Toastmasters Journey. I'm about to share a near-death experience that I just delivered at my Toastmasters Club Words on Wings in October 2021. The purpose was for me to simply share a scary tale during our Halloween theme party. We had six phenomenal storytellers and I did not win the best story or the best speaker contest. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but it was very good practice uh, for my storytelling abilities, even if I would have much preferred not to relive that dreadful night. It's my second time sharing a story, so if you did not get a chance to watch it, see my first attempt, the video was called Please Save the Child, and let me know if you see any improvement. If it's not already done, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you, you will know as soon as I post my next video next week. Let's do this. It was October 9th, 2019, the day I nearly died of terror. I will never forget that day, ever. And you're about to understand exactly why in the next five minutes. Here I am on a Wednesday, like any other Wednesday. I wake up on my own. I start my usual uh, journaling, praying, and uh, reading routine that I do every morning. I get out of bed, I get ready, I prepare my tea, my usual breakfast, and I start my work day. It's one of those days where it's one meeting after another, it just doesn't stop. And on top of that, I have two scheduled Zoom meetings that same evening. By the time that I'm done at around 9 p.m., I am completely wiped out, I'm sick and tired of being in the house, and I need to go get some air, and I need to go get it right now. As soon as I press leave the meeting, I grab the first jacket in my closet and I get out of my house for a well-needed walk. I live in the suburbs of Montreal in a very safe and quiet neighborhood. So here I am. I'm walking my usual route on the bike path. The boulevard is well lit up. The air is so crisp. I'm feeling like I'm coming alive again. It feels amazing. Then I turn on the little street, as usual, to make it to a gated community. I enjoy going there because there's a human-made lake there. There's, there are trees and geese and flowers. It's absolutely stunning and very peaceful. I finally reached the path that will lead me to the lake. But now I need to go through a path of tall, beige, leafy plants. I think they're called pampas. It is so dark though. Usually I don't mind and I feel safe, but tonight I have an unsettling feeling in the pit of my stomach. I am convinced that I'm not alone. Something doesn't feel right. I turn around. I can't see anything or anyone. I have an uncontrollable urge to turn around and go back home, but then I start rationalizing. Patricia, there's nobody here. You've walked this path dozens of times. Nothing ever happened to you. It is safe here. I decide to gather my courage, make a little prayer, and I take a few tentative steps towards the lake. But then I hear it, a rustling sound. I remove my galaxy buds. I listen attentively. Nothing. I continue with my walk. I hear another noise, but this time I'm certain something or someone moved. Then I do the most ridiculous thing in a panic. Instead of running back towards the well-lit boulevard, I run towards the lake in the pitch darkness, away from where I think the noise is coming from. 
every cell in my body wants to scream for help, but my canine politeness takes over. I don't want to disturb the peaceful neighborhood. The children might be sleeping. And to be honest, I just froze. I completely froze. So what do I do? I start to run. I run. I don't think I've ever run this fast in my life. I can hear somebody's coming after me. I'm not imagining this. So I want to turn around to see how close they are, but I'm so terrified that all I can do is just keep running. The inevitable happens. I trip, exactly like in the movies. In that moment, my sense of propriety disappears. I know I'm nearing death. This is my last chance of survival. So I yell from the top of my lungs, help me. And that's when my alarm went off. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my delivery and the story. And I hope you weren't too upset that the story was fictional, were you? <laughs> I have to take a quick minute to uh, share some special thanks with some individuals that changed this story from being very basic and elementary to being a lot more elaborate. So very quickly, I need to think uh, to thank Kit Leung. She's our VP of Education at My Words on Wings Club. Phenomenal lady who coordinated, uh, coordinated this amazing storytelling um, Halloween fest. Thank you, Kit. Then I have to thank Alexandra Shirokova, the District 61 Toastmasters champion. And uh, she made it all the way to the world, um, the world Championship of Public Speaking. Phenomenal lady, extremely busy, always takes the time to help me, to give me pointers, to listen to my videos before I post them. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Alexandra. I'm so happy I met you. And I also have to thank Weber Vadera, a Toastmasters member from UK. We like a whole a, a tight community. Um, met him online and because we're both Toastmasters and he takes his time out of his very busy um, schedule. He's a courage coach. I'm going to be sending um, to putting, uh, I'll be putting a lot of information in the, in the description below. And he's just phenomenal. Thank you for all your pointers and for making my story a lot more suspenseful, uh, suspenseful. And last but not least, I'd like to thank Alex McCartney, always there to support and to help and to take his time as well for out of his very busy schedule to listen to my speeches and always refer me to videos that can help me improve the things that I'm struggling with. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I also have to thank my daughter who listened and commented and made me improve a lot of things that were annoying her. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. And on that note, uh, if you know someone who might want to get a good scare or a good laugh, share the love by sharing the video. And I would like to leave you on this. The power of your voice can change the world. Find it and use it. See you in the next video.